Hi, I'm Lindsay Bolin and I'm an art teacher and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about different ways to speak to your children about their art. There's kind of some misconceptions and there's things we do as parents that are kind of knee-jerk reactions when your child shows you their art and some are more helpful than others. First I'm going to start with the don'ts. Number one is don't say, what is it? Because it doesn't really have to be anything. It's really important to think more about process than product, especially with younger children. They're experimenting, they're enjoying trying new materials and just using their creativity on paper. And when you ask them what it is, sometimes it makes them freeze up and they feel like it really has to be something. So that's kind of a no-no. Second part is don't compliment with phrases like, that's beautiful or good job. And because if you say that enough, they kind of become meaningless. Um, that's my knee-jerk reaction. Um, even as an art teacher, I'll be like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, I love that. And it's really not helpful, actually. Um, there's been studies that they've done where kids will come in for a two-day workshop, and the children that are complimented uh, over and over again for their artwork with, that's so beautiful, or that's lovely, or good job, good job, actually put in a lot less effort and um, don't, don't try as hard the second day as the ones that were just given time to do their work, given actually less praise. So it's a little bit counterintuitive, but it seems to bear itself out with research. Another thing to think about it is don't put a value on it. Um, it's hard not to say, I love it, or that's my favorite. We want to encourage our children. We want them to know that we love them. But this isn't really the way to show it. They should enjoy making their art for their own sake, not to please us as parents. Another idea that I strongly discourage is no coloring books. It just stifles their creativity. It's showing how other people think that things should look, not how they think things should look. If you just put down a drawing pad and some colored papers, you will be colored pencils, you will be amazed at what they will come up with on their own using their own imagination. The other thing is don't feel bad about the way you've been talking to them about art so far. I mean, knowledge is power. Don't feel guilty. Let's try these new tips and see if it makes a difference. Next thing I want to talk about is the do's. Uh, we want to encourage rather than just heap praise on them. Go ahead and ask questions about their art. Um, a neighbor's son came over the other day and was really excited to show me this fantastic um, ceramic creation that he did. And I kind of had to hold my tongue and not ask him, what is it? You know, that's so cool. Instead, I waited and I said, tell me about it. It made such a difference. I just saw this light in his eyes and he proceeded for probably the next five straight minutes to tell me all about it and how he had made it and why he had made it this way and what it meant to him. And it was such a more valuable conversation and it allowed him to speak about his creation in a much more substantial way than if I'd said, cool dolphins or I really like it. Um, often, if you just smile, and pause, it helps them to start talking about it in a way that's successful and something that's important in art education is for children to learn to talk about art. It helps them when you take them to museums and they see famous paintings. That's one thing that we try to work on in art education is for them to be able to discuss and learn about art criticism and even these small steps help with that. If they do ask you if you like it, it's best to say something like, I can see you put a lot of effort into this. I see a lot of circles, and I see you've chosen blue a lot. Is there a reason that you did this? Tell me about it. Really, tell me about it is one of the best things that you can say. If your child is younger and they ask you, do you like it, you can say something like, Wow, I see a lot of geometric shapes. I see squares, I see triangles. Let's look around the room. Can you show me some other triangles and squares in our room? Helps them with math, it integrates other ways of thinking, and it just completely continues the conversation in a way other than, I do like it, it's so pretty.
Once again, I'm Lindsay Volan. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that these tips have been helpful and that they give you some ideas of new ways to talk to your children about art. Give them a try and hopefully it will make a difference and it will encourage them to keep enjoying art. Please check out some of our other free art lessons online and I'll see you again next time.